Pastor David here. I call you blessed in the name of Jesus. I hope everything's going right for you. I got a scripture I want to read to you this morning. It's been on my heart for the last few weeks. It's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. It says, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's interesting. Not everyone that calls me Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Here's the thing that's been on my heart, this verse, Jesus speaking. There's a lot of people doing a lot of Christian things, and God doesn't know who you are. Don't be that person. How does God know us? We do his word. He knows us through his word. He said he watches over his word to see that it is performed. Anyone that is operating in the word, he's watching you. He knows you. You are going to know him, his character, who he is, through his word. Not through activities, not through uh, events, not through this and not through that. The, the element of knowing him and the element of knowing his word is synonymous. You will know him by his word and doing that which he tells you to do. It's not just doing things. It's not even doing uh, uh, things that are good. I mean, they're inherently good. We are to do good. We are to live our life that way, but that's not the key in, in entering into heaven. It's knowing him. Don't, don't become, you know, the, the one thing that I learned is I'm not called to do everything. So just because something is good and just because something affects people, that doesn't mean I need to do it. I am to do what he called me to do. I am to follow his prescription of how I am to live my life. I tell you what, this will free you up and it will keep you right. Because like I said, I can take you to people right now that are very busy doing things, but they haven't got a clue who God really is. And that's the thing that we got to change. We need, we're living in the last days. Number one, we're not to toil. Uh, if you're toiling, if you're carrying the load, if you're battling every storm of life, you're, you're not doing it the way that God wants us to do it. He wants to, us to lay down in still waters, in green pastures. He wants us to walk in peace, live in peace, the habitation of peace, his righteousness. This thing should work for us. We should not be toiling. We should not be out of peace. We should have things work for us. Now, don't get me wrong. That does not, I'm not saying life's easy. I'm not saying you don't have an adversary. I'm saying that we should be able to live in this, that when we do what God wants us to do, when he wants us to do it, how he wants us to do it, and sometimes he says, don't do nothing right now. That's being obedient to him. We have this natural mindset that to be successful and to accomplish that, we've got to be doing something, not so in the kingdom of God. Obedience is the key to what he said. Don't get into your own doctrine. Don't figure out what God meant, what he said. Just follow what he said in this. Here's the key. Become as dumb as rocks. Just, huh? What do you want me to do? Okay, I'll do that. Just do that. Don't put your spin on it. Don't put your thought process on it. Don't make it better. Don't make it different. Don't make it anything. Just, just tell me what to do. Make this thing a military. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. I will do that. Yes, sir. Every command, every order. Yes, sir. That's how you walk this thing out in success. That's how you not toil. That's how you live in this peaceable habitation. I tell you what, it is you that's making the struggle. Stop struggling. It is you that are thinking up things. If you're toiling in this life, stop toiling. This is the time to walk in peace with God. I call you blessed. Be here tomorrow night, 6.15. We'll have our, our normal uh, $1 dinner, 7 o'clock Bible study. We've been having great Bible studies. I tell you what, you've got to get built up in the Word. You cannot forsake the assembling of yourselves together. The house of God is God's plan. Be here. I look forward to seeing you.